guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, I can't believe that 2017 is coming to a close. This is my last video of the year so I wanted to start this off by saying thank you so much to each and every one of you who has subscribed and who has watched my videos this year. It means the absolute world to me. As you guys know I do work a full-time job and I make videos for YouTube and I blog in my free time. It takes up a lot of my free time but I absolutely love it and the thing that I love the most is being able to connect with like-minded individuals and this really incredible community that I think that we have created um, over time. It's just one of the most special things to me so I just wanted to give a huge thank you before I jumped into this video which is my fashion favorites from 2017. I'm really excited to film this. I've got so many different things that I want to talk through and I've actually kind of extended the categories and things that I'm going to be talking about from last year. I will link last year's video up here in case you want to go and check it out and see what my favorites from 2016 were, but let's jump into it. So I'm going to start this off with my favorite designer or label, and I've got two that I want to talk about, which one is one that I've just continued to have love for for the whole year, and the other one is one that I've kind of rediscovered and have become just a teensy, teensy little bit obsessed with. So let's start with that one, which is J. Crew. Now, you may have noticed from my trip to to Dallas early this year that it's a brand that I really seem to have rediscovered and I've definitely been incorporating a lot more of their pieces into my wardrobe over the year and the things that I have bought have turned out for the most part to be major wardrobe workhorses and I have two things that I thought I'd just give shout outs to. The first one is this black and white polka dot wrap silk front top which you will have seen a lot on my Instagram and on my blog. I just think that this is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't really hang properly but I will insert some cutaways so you guys can get a bit of view but I adore this I think it's just a really interesting style of top and there are plain colored ones of these as well in case polka dots aren't your thing but I will link everything I mentioned in the description box below in case you'd like to go and check it out but definitely one of my favorites from J Crew. and then the other one which this is probably more of a surprising one but this has been one that I've been loving wearing and it's this heart print top with fluted sleeves. Now this is a cold shoulder top, it does have this kind of um, off the shoulder elasticated bit which I find the best way to wear this is to put a little bit of Hollywood tape here on the shoulders so that it doesn't move around or anything like that. I did read some of the reviews, people took the shoulders of the straps up only to find that the top became too short so that's my tip for that but really love this. I did manage to find it on sale and I love this colour red. Red is definitely something I want to incorporate in my wardrobe a lot more for 2018 and this has definitely kicked that kind of addiction with red off for sure. Then the other brand that I absolutely love, which will come as no surprise, is Everlane. I really just wanted to give them a bit of a shout out because I've been really loving a lot of the different items they've put out this year. They've had some really amazing launches and I've been very lucky to actually receive a few of those things um, which the marketing team have sent to me, but I've also bought a lot from Everlane this year too. So I just wanted to quickly talk about one of their new cashmere launches which is this color blocked sweater. Um, it's not really the right time of year for me to be wearing this but definitely something I'm very much looking forward to and it's grey at the top with a black um, color block detail effect on the bottom and it has a roll neck which I adore and it's a very boxy shape. I will show you guys in the cutaway what this looks like but it is beautiful. It's not as soft as their other cashmere pieces but it's still really lovely and I think it's a really nice thick one for winter. It look gorgeous tucked in and then the other thing which I'm very much, very much thinking of Perfect for the Office and that I've been getting a lot of wear out of recently have been the Everlane uh, Editor Heels. Now I got these in the sort of taupey beige colour and they're sort of a caramel camel toned uh, suede if you ask my opinion. I adore these. These do run a little bit snug in the toe box however I did go for my usual size which is a US 9.5. I'm a European 40 always in case you're wondering but I do like the really uh, low heel and also this effect um, of the leather going up the back of your ankle as well. I just think it's very, very cute. Love these. I just think they look gorgeous with absolutely everything. I think the camera's going to go a little bit crazy when I talk about this next item because I'm wearing sort of spots right now and it's also a spotty piece, but this is probably one of my favorite purchases from the entire year. And it's one of my favorite wardrobe pieces from the entire year as well. And it is this polka dot top from Suzanne. Now, when I got this, you guys have gone absolutely crazy for it, and I'm really sorry because it is so old, you can't get it anymore, but I will link some alternative options down below, but this just looks 
so gorgeous. I like the fact that I can wear this both on the weekend and also for work as well. It's actually a really great top for the office. The uh, ruffled sleeves just give it a really kind of playful effect and I think the loose fit through the body is really flattering. It looks great tucked in or untucked. I will insert a photo of me wearing it with jeans where I did have it untucked but yes it's a really great one who would have thought Suzanne just kind of goes to show you that sometimes stores that you wouldn't normally go into have some really gorgeous things so I really love this and definitely one I'm going to be wearing a lot more in 2018 as well I also want to mention my favorite t-shirt brand from the year and I have certainly been wearing t-shirts a lot more in 2017 I didn't used to wear t-shirts at all I don't think really but I've gotten into them um, and I just think that they're such a great easy throw on piece for the weekend and my favorite for tees has to be Grana this is the Pima cotton boyfriend tee I think it's got rolled up uh, sleeves it's so blown out on camera I'm really sorry I will should insert a uh, cutaway of this on but it's just a really kind of great slouchy tee which looks perfect tucked in that's my favorite way to wear it and it's actually the kind of top that I wear a lot when we have been going traveling and on the plane too because it is super comfortable very soft and it washes very well uh, Luke loves Grana's Pima Cotton tees he's got a huge swag of them in his drawer so a great one to check out if you're looking to get some more basics for your wardrobe now I wanted to also mention my favorite piece of knitwear from the year now this was something that I actually bought secondhand from a girlfriend and I've been wanting it since I was probably in my early 20s and um, when I mentioned to her oh you know I absolutely love that cashmere uh, cardigan that you had she told me she was thinking of selling it and and so I jumped right on it um, and it is this huge oversized cardigan from Tuso with Love. Now unfortunately this brand is now defunct which is a real shame because they did the most incredible cashmere I've ever set my eyes on. Um, it was equally as expensive but still um, really beautiful. I wore this in a blog post and I think it was sort of one of my most liked images on Instagram for a while um, but it's just so divine. Um, it has this kind of fisherman style knit, huge pockets, big oversized buttons. It's so snugly and comfortable and I'm looking forward to pulling this one out again when it gets a bit colder again in Sydney. From doing capsule wardrobes I sort of found that I shifted away a lot from having dresses in my wardrobe so it's something that I am looking to add a little bit more of because I do really love dresses. I love the fact that they're just one outfit that you can throw on and then go about your business. The dress that I'm wearing is actually part of an inclination to start getting into dresses again but I really wanted to share one dress that is a bit of a standout for me for 2017. It was a really unexpected purchase and it's actually one of the dresses that I feel so amazing in. I did feature it in my party lookbook as well, festive season lookbook. So I will link that up here if you want to see it more in action. But it is this um, black sort of pinafore style dress from Beck and Bridge. It has these tortoiseshell buckle effects down the side and you can see it actually has a slight wee bit of a cutout which is very is ultra sexy um, it's very fitted and then it also has a thigh high split as well so very different for me but this is sort of the dress that I've been wearing a lot when I've got a special occasion when I need to dress up or if we're going out it just definitely makes me feel really good when I'm wearing it and I know that I'm going to be getting a lot more wear out of it in 2018 as well it's quite similar to the Dion Lee backless dress that I wore to uh, my brother-in-law's wedding back in um, oh god when was it July 2016 I will insert a photo of that too in case you guys want to see what that looks like but I just think this one is on another level when it comes to the uh, sexiness factor for sure now I will admit I found it really hard to narrow down to my favorite skirt for 2017 it was a tough one but in the end I decided to pick the skirt that I think I've probably worn the most and it is this uh, black leather skirt from Willow now I do have two of these skirts the other one the zipper broke on the back so I need to take it to a leather shop to have it repaired I just haven't gotten around to it yet because it's a bit hard where I work is a bit out of the city but um, I love this I just think it's absolutely gorgeous it's an a-line style has a silver exposed zipper at the back and I feel like it looks good with absolutely everything whether I'm wearing it with flats or with heels with something really dressy on top or something really casual it's just a really simple easy item for me to pick up and just wear and it's one that I've been able to get quite a lot of use out of over the year because it works for 
autumn, winter, also spring, and if it's a cool summer day then I can also get away with wearing this too, so definitely one that I have been loving. This is a really old skirt, the brand also does not exist anymore, so if I can find something similar I will link it down in the description box below. I thought also I'd talk about my favourite pants, and they're a pair of culottes, and you guys know how much I love culottes. These are from ASOS, and they're these blush pink linen culottes. These are so gorgeous. I love wearing these. I always feel really great when I wear them. I love the fabric as well being linen. These are perfect for wear when it's a really kind of warm day as well. Really good for um, the office too just with a cute pair of sandals. So absolutely adore these. The final clothing item I wanted to mention is my favourite coat. Now I haven't had the chance to wear this a whole heap unfortunately but still my favourite and I'm going to be making a huge effort to make sure that this gets a lot of wear in 2018 and it is this pink coat from Karen Walker. I love this. I love the colour of it. It's just really bright and makes me feel really happy just looking at it. I've been after this for many many years and then I finally stumbled across it on eBay in my size. It was brand new. I couldn't not buy it. So um, yeah, just I love the way that this looks on. I kind of like the really oversized sleeves and the way it sort of flares out at the bottom and this little cute collar detail as well. I just think it's very very cool. So definitely one I'm going to be wearing a lot in 20. 18 for sure. Uh, now we'll talk through our accessories and I will start with shoes and my favourite shoes have to have been these ones from the Nelly. These are these two-tone pumps which look very very similar to the Chanel pumps but they don't have the Chanel price tag. I've mentioned them a lot in my videos. You guys will no doubt recognise them but that's what they look like. They're very chic. They're very comfortable from the get-go. I've absolutely thrashed them and I actually bought a second pair in the uh, charcoal wool which are equally lovely. They do stretch out a lot as you wear them. I've noticed the ones that I've got, the new pair which I'm planning to wear in autumn winter, they're a lot more snug than these but I really haven't taken any care of these um, I would say because I have worn them a lot walking to and from work which it's a 45 minute walk each way so pretty huge walk in these shoes and they still look pretty good um, in my opinion I might get a replacement this year maybe we'll see how we go but I love these I just think they're gorgeous and I highly recommend them if you're thinking about getting the Chanel shoes but you're not sure if they're right for you so Speaking of Chanel, um, my favourite bag of the year is definitely my biggest splurge of the year and it is my Chanel boy bag. Now I did do an unboxing of this so if you did want to see that I will link it up here so you can go and check it out but I adore this bag. I went for the chevron pattern in the caviar leather. I just think it's really beautiful. I have the ruthenium hardware. This is just gorgeous. It says in the small size so this is more of what I would call my weekend bag or a going out bag but I like the way this looks with all of my outfits. So I think it's a little bit edgy, a bit cool, and I really like the chain detail too. It's really nice and comfortable to wear with the leather strap that kind of sits on your shoulder. So, very gorgeous. I'm so glad that I actually pulled the trigger and went out and splurged on this. It really is probably one of my favourite purchases from the whole year. And um, I mean, I don't think you need to spend this much on a beautiful handbag, but I really wanted to, and I am glad that I did. So, yes, that's definitely my favourite bag of the year. Two more accessories I want to share which I'm actually wearing and the first thing that I want to share are my favourite earrings of the year. Now they are my Manjuri loop earrings and I will do a close up but if you're new here you may not know this but I actually co-designed these earrings with Manjuri early in 2017. It was the most amazing process, it's something that I never actually thought I'd get the chance to do and I'm so pleased with how they turned out. I got the most incredible feedback from all of you who have purchased a pair which thank you so much if you did. Um, I did find out that they were one of the top sellers on Manjuri which is just amazing. Um, it really just meant the world to know that so many other people love the earrings as much as I did so uh, I'm so chuffed with them. I do wear them all the time so I have not gotten sick of them and every person, I've actually given a few pairs to my friends and I've had people that I know buy them and they also say they love them too so that is just, oh it's the best feeling. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than that it just makes me feel so happy inside and it's definitely one of those milestone achievements that um, I will know that I'm always going to look back on and remember very fondly. Now the final thing I wanted to mention was a watch and I have really been getting into wearing watches this year. It wasn't an accessory that I ever used to think about. I'd always just reach for my phone if I needed to know what the time was but I'm really into it now and the watch I want to share is more of a newer one. This is from, I can never say this right but it's pronounced, uh, well, it's spelled Skagen but I know that's not how you pronounce it for sure. Um, 
oh god this is their hybrid watch and it has a chain strap again I will insert close-ups but this is actually a smart watch so it tracks how many steps you walk and it also tracks your sleep so I'm really competitive and I'm also the type of person who really likes analytics and numbers so for me this is amazing I do tend to walk about 10,000 steps every day on average just because of my commute but it is nice to kind of push the boundaries I think I did 12,000 12, steps the other day so I was pretty chuffed with that but yeah it's really it is quite beautiful it is rose gold and I'm just loving the way it looks I just I love the fact that I can actually track my steps with my watch and it's also a watch that looks really lovely too so definitely one worth checking out if that's something that you are into or if you had a Fitbit but you want something that maybe looks a little bit less like it is a um, fitness tracker. So those are all my fashion favorites for 2017. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your support. I hope that you had the most magical Christmas with your family and I hope that you have a really beautiful new year coming up. I'll see you guys all in 2018. See you soon. Bye.